Welcome to Black Chapter. Your class goes on a field trip to Durhal Cathedral before things take an unexpected turn because this is not a horror game or a game in which you're going to meet your demise very easily. Solve a mystery before you and your friends perish. How interesting! It's almost like this is indeed a horror game where we need to watch our back every single turn. So let us find the mysteries that are awaiting in the Black Chapter, Sanctuary of Despair. Hint, press enter or space to advance with text and interact with people and objects. My name is Evan Gray. I am an 18 year old high school student and the lone survivor of the Gray family. What happened to your family? That so that usually attracts some sympathy from people. Have they witnessed something similar themselves? That is, until they learn I inherited a large fortune from my once affluent family. Suddenly the sympathy disappears. Usually when it, the talk is about money, people start to disappear off the ranks because not everyone has the luck or the foundations to be able to support themselves with a great deal of money. Well, I don't want to think about these things now. After all, I made a promise to myself that I would live a fulfilling life, worthy of everything my parents worked so hard to give me. Well, I don't remember my parents, I do know they loved me. And the promise is something I will remember. In order to get the best education possible, I went to Canterbury High School in England. It's expensive and probably a huge waste of money, honestly. Hey, the field trips are nice enough though, including this field trip to the famous Durhall Cathedral. Well, this would be hypothetical if this was indeed in Canterbury, England, considering I live very near it, actually. This again? But most of all, I made so many friends here. I live about three miles away from Canterbury, England. It's so ironic thinking, what? So many cities in England, and yet that is one chosen to be in this game. <laughs> it's just ironic, that's all. Maybe even an amazing... Come on, snap out of it. Snap out of your fantasies. Girlfriend. Oh dear, jeez, were you spacing out again? Okay, Emily. Sorry, I got lost in my own thoughts. As I do. Yeah, I know, it's not the first time. Certainly won't be the last time. As members of the History Club, we've got to explore this place together because the events of this will be historical. Yeah, we have a lot of ground to cover since we're the only members now. Of what exactly though? We've got this, just us two, in this huge corridor full of people. Come on, let's look around. Shall we have a look around? Man, why are we even here? And why does April have to come along? Ugh. Oh, just shut up already. Go back to fantasizing about Yuki or something. Okay. And you and your... Oh, goodness sakes. Why are you so spaced out there, April? What? Get off my case. I don't do that. Often. You could have just ended off with the first four letters, man. Ugh. What a loser. Hey, I heard that. So your name is Surprise. I told everyone to call me Surprise Chan. My idol name is my only name. Because in my world, I don't have a real name. I go by my idolization name. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. What a surprise. Wait. That's what you were mad about? Yeah, about your name. Yeah. Brian can fantasize or draw all the fan art he wants. I'm a super cute idol after all. Surprise Chan. You're so kind. Oh, by the way. I saw the last unboxing video with your fate cosplay. It was perfect. Thank you, Brian. I'm really glad you liked it, Nya. See, April, unlike you, she's not a total b You deserve a slap for that, Brian. Finish that sentence and I'll end you right on the spot with my stare. Don't you dare make fun of me or the month that I am associated with, okay? Guys? Don't fight. We're in a museum after all. We told Miss Adley we would behave and be nice to each other. <laughs> I think that last, well, most of that is out of a window. You should have said, well, we will behave as much as we can, but it's not like we're going to behave at all to your standards, Miss. That was a condition for letting us come alone after all. That lazy teacher should be here. She's... Okay, Brian, get your head out of the dumpster, okay? What? What does that have to do with anything? You're just a bleh, bleh. No. Well, 
Yeah, but I bet Evan thinks that... Hey, don't associate every guy like this, okay? It's just Brian over here that's doing it. She looks rude <laughs> and has... Okay, do you have to go on about features, for goodness sakes? Not that I have a preference for anything big. I still like surprise champ for most of... Oh, yeah, she's full of surprises. Huh? Evan, is that true? Uh, no, it's not true. Don't give in to these sacrilegious comments. I'm really glad we got to visit the cathedral today. That's a good detour. What? Don't change the subject. But I am, because this is not worth investing our time or interest or effort into. Anyways, I found this strange document. I think it's written in, like, Chinese or something. Oh gosh, a lot of games translated from Chinese to English is not hugely preferent in my like book. Namely, Nightmare Melini. Annie, can you read this? I'm Japanese, just like Surprise Chan. Okay, also, I'm quite sure this is Latin. My third language is German. My fourth language is Portuguese. My fifth language is American because they don't know how to type in English. You might have better luck asking Evan. I think he knows Latin. God, just so stupid. Oh, and Brian, what do you like? How can you confuse Roman characters with Chinese? Seriously, it was just a figure of speech, dumbass. <laughs> I told Brian. Hope a statue falls on you. That'd be nice. Anyways, Evan, what does this document say? Let me see. It says, Devogen will not be allowed to exist. All will perish. So, we'll be encountering this Devogen after all. And I wonder if the first three letters DEV means dev, as in developer. The hell does that mean? No idea, honestly. Never seen that word before. Might just be a misspell or weird name. I think it is the latter. That's lame. Well, whatever then. Hey guys, wasn't there supposed to be a statue here? Hmm? The statue of the first king? Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> Jokes on you. It was removed due to criminal damage. Maybe they move a the statue back to the deanery. You can check there. This place is officially closed to the public right now, after all. I'll have to take a look. I must see these exquisite works of art while I can. Yeah, let's look around while we have time. Let's go, Evan. All right. Mm, there's so many characters. Yeah, there's so many characters here. I wonder how many of them will have a significant meaning or... A lot of these names are going to be irrelevant. Kind of like me sound away. Hi Alyssa, how's the trip? I'm not saying all characters are insignificant. It's just that a lot of them don't have any explanation or screen time to where we can learn about that character. How's the trip? Good, we haven't talked much recently. Yeah, sorry about that. I've been spending a lot of time with my club members. Let's hang out later. Evan, come on. I have to go now. I look forward to it. Bye. I'm being dragged away against my own will from conversation. Hey, where are we going? There's nothing here. I just... wants to talk with you? We could have done that back there, but maybe this is something else more... discreet and private. Okay, alone? Oh, you know, we've known each other for a while now. I was... They... We wanted to do this alone, surprise Chan. And A says she found the tablet with the king's speech or whatever. Let's finish this later. As club president, I have to see that for myself at least once in my life. Hey, Evan. You're always spending time with Emily, huh? Yes, and... What are you trying to imply, surprise Chan? Don't you think there are other cute girls she's been be spending time with? Hey, she was the one who invited me, okay? Like me for... No. Well... We've known each other for a long time, and we're in the same club. We also apparently live in the same neighborhood as well. That's why, but maybe I should spend more time with everyone else too. Don't divert off the conversation. This is between Evan and Emily. <laughs> well, make sure to spend time with me for- No. See ya. You've got a lot of fans. I should go see what everyone is up to. So we now have control of the game. Oh, wait, how do we save? Press tab to pause. Oh, tab her. Ah, that introduces that mode. Where's the save option? I'm guessing there's no save. There's only load. Save by interacting with crosses and the walls. Okay, now that makes a lot of sense. By seeing a cross, we'll be able to see where we're going. It's locked. Okay, what about this door then? That, it won't open. Okay, so we can open it. 
probably. That's to the garden. What about over here? Uh, oh, is this where the characters... Yeah, this probably were where the characters are. Do you like art? When you think of art, you can probably think of these paintings. Yet, art takes many different forms. Anyway, here, take this. Just slides it up when you explore dark rooms. Thank you! Eh? Uh, candles? Oh no, not candle. Not that free horror game, but brings back Vietnam style flashbacks. Hey, as long as it works, <laughs> that's all people had back in the day. Embrace history the right way. Yeah, that's backwards thinking. Plus, I'm sure your phone battery isn't doing too well. Yeah, from, from surfing the internet all day. Well, you're not wrong. Got candle pack. I wonder how many is in this pack. A small painting. A small scenic painting. Lovely. Got to have some scenery involved. Oh, there's a cross. Let's interact with it. You can save the game here. Save the game? Absolutely. I like this menu. There's only seven save slots. Yeah, it may say six, but remember, data zero is also an entry point. Game saved. Lovely. The statue looks pretty cool. Emily told me this speech is significant. Do you know why? Uh, never mind, of course you do. Do I now? Hmm, interesting. Hey, let's keep looking around. Spend time with Emily, maybe later. We'll do that afterwards. We need to spend more time around the museum to see what is going down with everyone. Not just not just the ones we've already interacted with. Seems like most doors are locked. Yeah, it's not like this is a game, horror game, let alone where doors are locked. Make sure to pick up any keys you find. What is this, a game? What do you want to talk about? Talk about surprise chat. Japanese girls are the best, man. Surprise change a cosplay to top it off. The best of both worlds. That's pretty neat. Hannah is pretty cute too, but was she too serious for you? She's look. I called it. I <laughs> uh, gotta say, we are pretty damn lucky. Most classes are four guys and four girls. Our class is five girls for only three guys. What are you thinking this is going to be some sort of harem or something? Well, there only needs to be one guy and a load of girls to make it a harem. I'm not saying that, I'm not using that as an advantage. I don't care which gender you are as long as you're happy with yourself. Do you know what bariko means in Japanese? I do not. Basically, it's a girl who acts cute in front of boys. That's daft. That's usually not their true personality. Exactly. And... 100% of the time it is not their true personality. They're more common in Japan, but I'm sure you've met a couple of them. I have met zero, and the experience was astonishing. Did you want to talk about something? Talk about... Okay, surprise chan. Surprise chan may sound a little weird in English, but Japanese people like to use English words like that as stage names. I assure you, it doesn't sound stupid to her audience. Of course not. Just like I don't sound stupid to my audience. Doors. Seems like most doors are locked. It's up to us to open them or this trip would have been a waste of time. Brian is trying his luck with this door here. Perhaps you should try open the doors on the opposite side of these halls. Yeah, sometimes they're locked on one side. Let's see. I don't want to... I want to talk about uniform. Dude, it's way too hot for these uniforms. Don't tell me you're going all perfect, you know what I mean, like Hane over there. What are you thinking, we are serious? No, we're just getting into character. It's like going to kickboxing or something. Sometimes it's not about your state of mind, but it is your state of mind, but it's also what you're wearing that helps you put you in that state of mind. We need to be able to use summer uniforms if it gets hot, you know, due to global warming and all that. Yep. Global warming works both ways. It makes cold colder and hot hotter. You should take your, off your blazer at least. Hey, don't tell me how to live my life. I'll live my life to how I see fit. Thank you very much. Let's see, what about you? This is kind of boring, but now that you're here, we can go have fun. Let's go look around. Spend time with Surprise Shan. Maybe later. Why do these people want to hang out with me? Do you ever hear the tragedy of Dean Harvey just... But Dean Harvey for just... Uh, no, no, of course not. It's not something they teach in school. No, Alyssa, it is not. You don't give us any options. You just give us that sentence. Let's look at these paintings. Let's see if we can. A portrait of a third Dean. He seems to be holding up a cross. A portrait of a second Dean. Looks like he's performing some kind of ceremony. Let's see now. A portrait of a first... Wait, hold on. The light shines brightly on him. 
What was this one then? Oh, that's the third Dean. I don't know why I thought that was the first Dean. I have no reason to go in there. Are you sure about that? Are you really sure that there is nothing to go in there for? Okay, let's buy, spend time with one of our friends then. A very large candle. And what's on this side? A similarly large candle. Let's see. Uh, yeah, well, we'll keep looking around. Let's go. Here we are. I was checking out this area before, but there's something really odd about this room. Come, I'll show you. Fine, I'll go into that room then. But where did I put my phone? It's really dark in here. Hold on. I've got a candle. Really? Really. Gian was kind enough to give it to me. Alright, well, light it up. Thanks. Use an item, press tab, go to the inventory menu, then select an item, and then press enter or space to use it. Okay. Inventory. Candle pack one. Light up the candle. This room looks a bit different from what the official map depicts. Maybe we've entered an alternate dimension. There's also this floor theme that makes sound when you step on it down the hall. Alright, let's check it out. I think we'll do that. But it may also be a trap. The artist who painted this must be famous. Alrighty then. We'll do that. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you stick on that side. A painting of a queen. Okay, and what about this one over here? The artist who painted this must be famous, of course. Every artist who painted this must be famous. So, something must happen when you step on that. But obviously, we need some kind of weight to hold it down so that we can actually do that. A book written in Latin, of course. They always have to be in different languages. And also languages that are inspired to be English and are still used in schools today because we're not that inventive in the 21st century. It's locked. Thanks. Can you... Do you find anything interesting? Ask to... Hold on. I want you to wait here. Wait there. And it's locked. Okay. So since you're on that pressure plate, what can I do? Oh, maybe it's that locked door over there. Actually, that is going to be the thing. There we go. I knew it. I knew. A metal reinforced container for what seems to be the remains of someone famous. It's too heavy to pick up. Goodness sakes, we need to find something else. A somewhat heavy urn. I dare not look what's inside. Pick it up. Absolutely will pick it up. Hello. Anything interesting? You yeah, give me a sec. I will put this down. This lever seems to be linked to the door mechanism. I want to use this urn. You place the urn down and, and it pressures the, presses the lever. I mean, sorry. Come with me. Ask to follow. Yes, please. I want you to follow me. There we go. I need you to wait there. And then... Let's see. Just another piece of cold stone. Are you sure about that one? An empty display case. Uh, there's this. A very old stone slab with incomprehensible, incomprehensible text. Great. And this. The queen holds the key. Of course it does. Because it is the most powerful piece on a chessboard. If the queen holds the key... Then that must me mean, sorry, that if we interact with the queen painting again, it will have a key on it. Search painting, absolutely. All that for a key? Jeez, what's with this place? Hey, don't mock us. We're out here exploring. No reason to leave for it. What do you mean by that? We've got a key to unlock somewhere. So why not pursue and stuff like that? Maybe it's this one. But it looks like the Audrium key might fit. Try opening the door. Absolutely, we will do that. And we shall continue exploring. This must be an old prayer room. It looks completely untouched by modern society. Thank goodness. Great. And you will never leave this place. Devogen. Great. Isn't that just lovely? What was that? I'm not sure. I don't like this. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's a great idea. We should never have came in here in the first place. Not a... You say we'll never leave this place, but... I know where we're going across here. And what about over here then? That room was really strange. I get a feeling there are a lot of things about this place we don't understand. I'm going to see if they cut the doors on the north side open. Can you check out the other two rooms down here? What do you mean the other two rooms? Like, uh, that one and this one? 
No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ask Surprise Shan to see if she wants to hang out with us. Oh god, nobody's here. That must mean we're locked onto this route of the game then. Well, unless this path is optional. Brian is busy checking out the paintings. Actually, do you make a living off selling artwork online or something like that? Yeah, I do. I mostly do it for fun though. I mean, my parents still pay- How dare you. Yeah, this school is pretty expensive after all. Yeah, they're still in the US though. So, the health is also expensive too. So, I'm living alone just like you. I'll show you my work sometime. But you know, it's not meant for the, grand for the general audience. So they're pretty lewd stuff, right? Sounds good. <laughs> uh, you were sure about that? And there's a tired mechanism as well. I really wonder why they locked everything up. Did you check out the rooms on the other side? I think I did. Hello? I don't think we can get this open. Figured as much. They better not break the door and get us in trouble. We have to go back soon anyways. Perhaps it's already too late to go back. Let's see, I'm going to save the game, and I'm going to save it here just in case there's a different outcome because we chose Emily rather than Surprise Chan. I don't really care very much. Must be the statue of the famous speech. So, where are everybody else? Hello? You okay? All the inner doors are locked. What a creepy field trip. I know there's something else, but no. I wish we had just gone to the beach and said, okay, April. Go where your heart desires and not with your head. Okay, let's move on. So the other two rooms over here. What is this, an old ladder? Okay, not that interesting. A crate full of old weapons. Very old, very old. A crate full of, okay, more crates. A lot of crates. Something tells me we should invest in a crate or something. A large weapon rack containing ceremonial swords. It's locked, obviously. Where could this lead? And what about this door down here? Inventory, okay. Light up the candle, obviously. And you? Hey, Evan. There's nothing interesting here. Just the rundown dorms of a priest that once lived here. I see. So, have you found anything interesting? I found an old altar room that wasn't on the map, but besides that... Oh, did you? Too bad we can't go inside the cathedral. I think we should... Hey, Evan, are you in here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm... It's okay. Let's talk later. All right. Goodness sakes, somebody has to interrupt, Josh. Hello? Hmm. So these are the dorms, huh? It honestly doesn't look as bad as I imagined, so those two either don't get along or only the redhead doesn't like Emily. So... Oh, Alyssa. Were you hanging out with Alyssa? Oh, no. I just met her here by chance. Oh. Okay. Can you help the others get the priority doors unlocked? Since you're pretty reliable at this kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. Goodness sakes. Don't you dare take me for my talents to your advantage alone. Are you sure about that? Just an empty room. Are you sure it's very empty? Are you sure there's nothing interesting? You sure there's nothing interesting? It's locked. What about this one? And then there's another one. And another one. And another one. And another. This must lead to the cathedral proper. But the door won't budge proper, eh? There's also a stamina bar as well, which is intriguing. Go about our ways for too long. This is strange. What exactly is strange? This door over here? It's locked. I have no idea how to open this door. I also have no reason to leave since we just got here. Are you sure about that? Alright, we'll help her. Yay! I've already lost interest in this. It's almost five already. We have to go back anyways. Guys! Oh well. Who cares about them when I have you here? <laughs> Shut up. Um, but it doesn't look like we're in a good scenario. Uh, what happened? I was thinking that too. What the hell just happened? Maybe Surprise Chan is the antagonist in all of this. What does it say here? The Devogen will never be allowed to roam this world again. But yet here we are. You will never leave this place, Devogen. And you? I'll keep looking around here for a bit. We will see about that one. Surely these doors are not that empty or uninteresting. This is another one. And another. They're all back here. What's going on here? Someone's playing a prank. 
This isn't funny. Thank you, Hene, for being serious about all this. We'll get in serious trouble for vandalizing public property, but we're in an alternate dimension, so therefore that doesn't apply here. Someone wrote an ominous message on the wall, apparently. It's probably here and over here, given he loves writing creepy stuff. Who doesn't mean, man? Why would I do that? A Devagin is a mon. Destroy it! Or perish together. That's what the message says. The hell is a Devagen, anyways? Is it like a new chemical on the periodic table? Sorry, element. It's the same thing as a demon, I think. Okay. Although I read in a book that it has human qualities too. Don't all demons have a little bit of human quality in them? Anyways, this is unacceptable. We have to clean it up right away. Where's our cosplay star at? Surprise Chan. Is she a prankster? What? She would never do something dumb like this. Okay, fan. Boy. Yes, I can't imagine her doing this. How about we go get her while you guys clean this up? Or maybe... Or maybe make the prankster clean this up. Guys, I'm sure there's a misunderstanding. Shut up with the logical explanations, Emily. This is the illogical scenario where horror is in the genre of this game. Remember, this is a game, not a real-life scenario, but at the same time... This could be a real life scenario. Let's just go get her and get to the bottom of this. That's a great idea. Let's try reading this. A mysterious message written in a strange red link quid. That's totally not blood. What are you doing just creepily going around, Alyssa? This is a waste of time. Maybe you're the Devagen. I'm calling out now. You're the Devagen. And don't ask me how or why she is the Devagen. Who is the Devagen? It begins with E and has an L and an I and an S and an A. It's not definitely not Hene, for goodness sakes. I hope she's not the one behind the prank. No, she's not here. Check the dorms. Of course, check the dorms. Well, she did disappear off like that, so it could be surprise, Shan. Emily, nothing here, it seems. Are you sure about that? An idea from our school. The portrait shows a young boy with ordinal features. Yukai Ito, junior class four. Wait, Yukai was the one that Brian was fantasizing about, and that's surely the one that caused himself surprise, Chan. Why is this here? I should return it. Oh. Well, isn't that just great? Lack of lighting, and then... Again, I should meet up with everyone. What's with these hallucinations? I should go meet with everyone. But where would everyone be, I wonder? I wonder if it's where that strange message was. Well, everybody's here, okay. But there's a fewer people than there should be. Any luck finding a surprise, Chan? No, but I found an ID. I think. What, well, really? Let me see that. Huh? This isn't her ID, man. It's a guy named Yuki, apparently. Oh, I guess it's her brother? They look similar. In Japan, the names are swapped. So, the last name is displayed first. I guess Yuki is their last name. That's nonsense, Brian. Yuki is a first name. That's what I was thinking of. Plus, that's a Western school ID. The family's name goes where you expect to go. Yeah, but stop it, Brian. I regret to inform you that Surprise Chan does not have a prof. <laughs> that's what I thought. Uh, then, Surprise Chan is a boy. Yep. What? For real? What? <laughs> I thought it would be blankingly obvious. Well, like you guys say, I'm not a snitch. I guess that's why the teachers don't give Yuki a hard time over not using the official uniform. Yuki's pretty cute though, I have to admit. How do I not find out before? It's because you're an idiot exactly. Shut the hell up, April. Well, that doesn't change anything. We still need to find her and get out of here. Where's Emily? Maybe she's found surprise, Shan. I saw Emily go into the storage room next to the dorms. All right, I'll go get her. Thanks for that. I have to go get Emily. I don't have time to chat. Um, oh, Emily. Hey, Emily, you okay? What the hell happened? I need to call for help. Is your phone not working either, April? I don't get it. There's no signal anywhere in here. But there was before. The exit doors won't open either. So you're saying we're stuck here. We need to take her to a hospital right now. It's no use. She's already gone. Damn it, Alyssa. Just because you don't like her, she's right. I can't believe this. How could this happen? I don't get it. I was talking to her just moments before... Damn it. Evan? 
It looks like she fell from the ladder there. I don't think so. I think something caused her to get off the ladder and land on the crate. Maybe hit her head? But it doesn't seem right. Why not? There's blood coming from her body. Exactly. The blood on the floor does not indicate that the blood came from her head. I think there's another wound somewhere. So you're saying... I don't know what I'm saying, but what Brian said is wrong here again. Fine, let's look around and find out what happened. Someone got out. So someone go outside and call for help. You should get signal there. I already tried, but okay. There's better than not trying. God damn this murder case. It already it all does seem weird. I saw Emily walk into this room minutes ago when we were searching for surprise, Jen. And I was outside pretty much the entire time. Yeah, I did not hear anything coming from this room. Just doesn't make sense if any of us going in this room initially so that then we would then save emily i should go meet with everyone i think brian was with emily before so you're saying this is a murder case now surely he must know something there seems to be a wound on her abdomen what could be the cause of her death not sure i can't imagine what happened here or maybe we should flip her over or something so you want to find out what happened this is going to get messy Okay, Alyssa, for goodness sakes, you don't have to be the one to try and hide the fact that you did that to her just because you're jealous of her being in an attraction with the main character of the game. We get it. This crate's been knocked over, but what's inside the crate? What was inside the crate? Wait, if the crate was knocked over, then surely there must be a, a struggle, a sign of a... Wait, hold on. A large... But one of them's missing. But yeah, one of them's missing. So, I think whoever did this took one of the swords off and then killed her with that sword. And there's a sign of struggle here because this crate has been knocked over. There's a bloody ceremonial sword in the barrel. Well, there it is. That's where they tried to hide it. Let's start with the cause of death. She fell from the ladder and hit her head or something. What more do you want? No use trying to... Brian, shut up. Evan, I'm sure you've realized why he's wrong. What is the real cause of death? I think this was a stab wound in her abdomen. Precisely. Wait a minute. I agree that wound looks lethal. But how could she have a wound on her head as well? How did she even get wounded anyway? Well, she fell. <laughs> There's even blood on the lad. I'll just say it since everyone else refuses to. Yeah, we knew that. She's right. How could you be so sure? A piece of evidence that rules out other possibilities. Um, the blood ceremony... Yeah, the bloody ceremonial sword. That sword killed Emily. And the murderer got it from the weapon rack in the back. There's no other explanation. The murderer had hastily tried to make it look like an accident. But was in a hurry. I was right outside the entire time. There's no way anyone could have gone in and out. I didn't even hear anything. What about you, April? Yeah, I didn't see anything either. There's a door in the back next to the weapon rack that housed the murder weapon. Then perhaps she was dragged here? And the way the barrels are knocked over suggests that someone came from there, or at least went there at some point. Oh, right, but it still doesn't make sense. Okay, Mr. Detective Brian. What about you solve the case then? Who could do that to Emily? Without them or Emily herself making any sound? Surely Brian would have heard of something. But the thing is, I know that the bowels could cause noise, but the murderer must have tipped the bow over silently so that then it doesn't make any sound. She was murdered in the room beforehand and then dragged here. I told you I heard nothing coming from this room. To be able to carry out this, the murderer must be a friend of Emily. The killer is none other than one of us. Yeah, that's a good point. What? She was attacked from the front, wasn't she? The killer even knocked over some crates. Only someone close to her could have gotten close and stabbed her like that. She was too confused to even scream. So that means one of you. Alright, I'm getting really sick of this. You guys are playing detective when you don't know anything. Okay, April. What about you then? What the hell? We should get out of here and call for help immediately. Surprise Shan is still missing too. She's right. We won't accomplish anything here. However, we should be careful. There's no doubt that we're in danger. We should form groups and search for both Yuki and a way out. Evan, get away from me. No! I want to point myself into a group. 
not being appointed by somebody into a group. All right, Brian and you follow Alyssa. Why do we have to be stuck with her? This is the entrance to the deanery. I have a feeling we're in greater danger than we realize, even us. Let's be careful. Thanks. I'm sure you're jealous of Ellie, so that's why you murdered her, uh, so that you can be all cozy with Evan by yourself. I should go off my own way. But what about saving and all that? None of the three other doors work, so we'll go through this one then. Alyssa? What's going on? Why did the door close? I don't know. I'll have to find a way out. Somehow. Alyssa? She seems to have left. I must move forward. Obviously she would do that. Obviously this is indeed a trap. A statue of a king. There's a silver key on his hand. Take the key? Absolutely. Why would we not take the key? Our king wants his king key back, sorry. What about if we just do not? It's locked, but it looks like the silver key might fit. Yeah, we'll use it here. See where it goes. And... Oh. Well, isn't that just great? And it's locked. Great. I think we're going to die in here at some point. Uh, locked. Um, well, isn't that just great? <laughs> we dare go through there then. Deanery Lobby. Return the key. And then, let's see. Our key. Yeah, we we'll just put it back. And we can go in here then. Oh, hi. Hold shift run. I understood that part of the game. I know RPG Maker games like this. I know this is not made in that engine, but it's real similar. Take care of your customers. Obviously, that would be the case. Several brothers have gone missing. I pray for their safety. Thanks. What about my safety in here? This door has no handle, so therefore it doesn't have an identity on the internet. <laughs> Get it? No handle? I mean, no point of reference okay after the first death of the first dean and the disappearance of the second the king is at a loss he quickly appointed a new dean from the remaining priests and began making large contributions to cathedrals around the country he believes it is all an omen of greater misfortune to befall on the kingdom the only thing us meek priests can do is follow the lead of our great king our good bishop and our new young dean we pray every day for our king's sake. The next entry has been torn out. The artist who painted this must be famous and wealthy. Possibly. Probably. Not likely. What's up here? This clock time marches on. Thanks. It's locked. Well, we need to find a key then. But why do we need to run at some point? There is an invisible person here. Are you our waiter for the night? I would like to drink Petite Verdry. You will not forget, right? Promise? I will not forget. Don't you worry. Right, so... I need to be... I should see what they all want before getting drinks. Oh, oh, there's more than one? There's more than one. Oh, I see, okay. Invisible person here. Peanut Noir. You not need to write it down. Then you will not forget. Excellent. Uh, any others? Any others? Oh, more, more than those. I don't even see the invisible people. Uh, do you like wine? I only drink the soft variety. Prince bring me Merlot. Fine then. And you? And you? Still deciding what I want to drink. Okay, so maybe we should fulfill these three first beforehand. Petite Verdry Merlot. No, get poison. <laughs> yeah, let me just get one of those, Ben. Oh, dear. Let's see. Do you have my drink? I absolutely do have your drink. I have a peanut noir. Ah, just what I needed. I'm good at remembering things, especially if, it, if they have an obtuse name to them. Let's see. You want the petite verdry. Excellent. And you want burlet. Splendid! And yourself, have you decided? Really now? I bet those three asked you for wine. I would drink anything but that foul liquid. But be warned, I can be a little scary when I drink. So you want poison then? Get poison. I'm gonna give you the poison for goodness sakes. Because you can't make up your mind. What a strong taste. What is this? And... Something unlocked. There we go. We did it. 
And that did that. Entry 1. The king came to the cathedral again today. He is a fine king, a good man, and a faithful servant of God. He made a substantial contribution and immediately began praying. I am almost certain at least one of his prayers was for his last best friend, the first dean of Duhol, and the missing second dean. After these incidences, I have quickly become one of the king's advisors and the third dean of Duhol. This is the start of a comfortable life in this beautiful cathedral. <laughs> no to me, no, but the Devogon is on its way. The other entries have been torn out. Why is it with these other entries which have been torn out, for goodness sakes. They're part of a mystery, okay? An official letter in Latin, because what you often don't see inside of entry because it's been ripped out is the most important piece of them all. Light up the path. Thanks. I think that is how we need to go about these things. A lush green plant in its lonely pot. Thanks. A bunch of books I want to read. Maybe one of them will be important for us. A book titled Different Kinds of Devogen catches your eye. That's one. Read the book. There are different kinds of Devogen. The more dangerous ones, like Arachnid Queens and Shadow Demons, are rare but have terrifying powers. Arachnid sounds like spiders. The queens have turned entire towns into webbed nests. So yeah, it's definitely not spiders, right? <laughs> and shadow demons have eliminated entire crusader squads with their blinding shadow cloud. Most have already been slain by holy warriors, however. Good job for the holy warriors. The more common type of devogen now are the humanoid variant. Devogen who live among humans and are almost undetectable. They have little supernatural ability. The most common ones are vampires and soccer bee. Vampires are most common still run rampant, but crusaders are making progress. Soccer bee, however, are not being properly addressed. Crusaders often keep them around as lovers, despite the Pope denouncing such acts. Thankfully, a sucker burst is rarely a threat and almost never harms humans. Of course they don't, because they have a certain fetish pleasure sort of thing a more dangerous humanoid devogen is the amnesia demon let me bet i can't remember what this one does they are demons that locked away their power and even their memories in order to live among humans it is unknown what powers they have but they regain their strength after killing about five humans thanks i think one of us is an amnesia demon they are relatively weak otherwise, and crusaders can easily slay them if found. If you come across any devil, Jen, immediately seek help from the church. And not even they can do something about it. This clock has stopped working, because time is at a standstill when you're in an alternate dimension. Today is the fourth day of Advent. I really want to get my hands on a copy of The Saint in the River I found in the library a while back. The Dean does not want us going into that area, however, presumably because he cannot be disturbed. I fear I can sneak in and get him, if I am quiet enough. If I talk quiet enough, they won't notice me. I'm sure he would understand. Thanks. It's locked. There's many things which are locked. A small religious painting. And it's locked, obviously. Okay, folks, we're going to come back to this game in the next time. We have not spent 49 minutes on this game. I need to take a short break. But I'm quite liking this so far. I really wish there was a bit more to each of the characters rather than there being such a large cast of characters and then there's no explanation behind each of the characters. But then again, we haven't been through the rest of this game, so therefore we don't know what's going on. But... I would go. I would say that there are two characters which could, which this could be. A lesser out of jealousy, or the more common one to fall upon would be Surprise Chan, which obviously had some mysteriousness to them at the very start. But then again, if we chose Surprise Chan to hang out with, then maybe something else could have happened, like us being the first murder case. Maybe she was. Maybe they were jealous of us hanging out with Emily in the first place and therefore that happened. It could be a thing. It may not be a sibling jealous story like I thought because, well, Brian is hiding something. Like he may not actually be the murderer, but he's definitely hiding something, hiding some information. That's why he's like, look, it just happened like this, okay? So stop looking, stop investigating. There's nothing to look at. 
don't you guys understand? It's supposed to be how I present the information out, because obviously I'm one of the imposters. Now we're getting all Among Us esque. Thank you so much for watching Sea Wars in the next time of. Wait, what was the name of the game again? Black Chapter Sanctuary of Despair. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.